Oh, greetings, greetings. Welcome again to another edition of Community Forum. Once again, of course, I'm not the author of what I uh, speak, just a transmitter, just a vessel. But I'm so happy to transmit truth to you that you can possibly use uh, to help yourself. So really, real quick, I want to talk to you a minute about thought. Now, you know, there's a saying, as a man thinketh, so is he. And I, you know, had to think about that for a quick second or two. Well, now I've thought about it for more than a quick second or two. But when you think about thought, the power of thought, it's so powerful that you can absolutely transmit thought. You can receive thought. The only problem is we don't know how to do it properly or correct. There's certain things or certain times when you think about a person, that's thought. When they're thinking about you, that's thought. You can actually, what they call, do telepathy. You can actually communicate with each other and not be in the same place at the same particular time. You're picking up thoughts. You're receiving thoughts. It's been done. It can be done. And it, it, it is being done. Just so powerful. But you have to be careful with thoughts because what you think about yourself, you can begin to take on that. See, thought is an unseen reality. And when you put it out there, that's why people say be careful about what you think and how you think. When you put it out there, it can manifest in a reality that you did not expect. So you have to be careful about how you think about yourself and how you think about others. Right. You would agree with that. So thought travels faster than the rate of speed, which is one hundred and eighty six thousand uh, one hundred and eighty six thousand miles per second. It definitely travels <laughs> faster than the rate of uh, sound, which is 1,120 feet per second. Here's the thing. In terms of how you think about yourself and your thought and stuff like that, as I look at people, even when people are sick, even in your most sickest state, whether it's mental, physical, or even spiritual, you can use the power of the mind to absolutely heal the body. Have you ever noticed? I noticed I, I put on a few pounds and I got real concerned. I was like, oh, I got to get back to the gym and really uh, start uh, eating better. I'll say it like that. And out of all the things that you could eat, fruit is the best thing, possible thing that you could eat. That's not to say that you can't eat vegetables and uh, I mean, meat. It's not really made for human consumption, but we do. It's permissible to eat. But here's the thing. The sun, the sun, the sun, the sun, 853,000 miles in diameter, 14,072 degrees Fahrenheit, fire, big ball of fire, hits the earth in eight minutes and 20 seconds or 500 seconds the earth weight is constant the earth weighs six sectillion tons and this the sunlight which gives everything its color moves and rotates the earth and causes it to have four seasons now check this out the earth doesn't weigh more or less it weight is constant we come up from the earth but our frames are not made to take on extra weight. So we die of weight problems and whatnot, which, you know, we can control. Well, we got to get more into thought. I will do another subject, just like I said about time. We're going to tie it all up. But I just wanted to throw that out there to make you think now. Be more cognizant or aware of how you think. The foods that you eat. The things that you drink, these things that are not made for human consumption. I mean, even when you hear it on the radio, you just think about this. 